Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video I'll be stuffing my sinking funds for week two so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching stay tuned. Okay guys so we are back for another cash stuffing video two things to start off with this video is very late so i'm filming this video on the 15th of august so usually i try to film my cash stuffing videos at the beginning of the week but this week has just been a bit of a nightmare which i'll go into in a second and secondly we are literally filming this video late as in late in the day i usually film my video first thing in the morning but i do have to leave the house really early tomorrow um, as I have to take my daughter to a training session, which is quite far away. So I decided to film this now. On top of the training session tomorrow, we are leaving on Monday to go to a training camp for three days in Nottingham. So we are also away for the next three days after that. So I just thought the best time to film this video will be here and now, especially as it is overdue. So I hope you don't mind, guys. I hope that the lighting is all well and good. Please let me know how the filming goes if it was clear enough if you found the shadows distracting please let me know and yeah i'll make sure that i stick to my usual time if it's a problem i've partly started already i've already got my cash so obviously this is the evening now <laughs> um so i've already got my cash ready to go um i used my cash totals card earlier and as you can see um it's quite a small stuff in this week but i filled in the amounts that I needed. So in total, we are stuffing 55 pounds into our envelopes. So we have two tens, so we've got 20 here, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fives. And that goes here. I only stuff all of my cash envelopes fortnightly. So every other week I'll stuff them all um, but then the alternate weeks to those weeks I tend to just stuff some of them so I have a set amount I budget for each cash envelope and that's just how it pans out this week I'll be using my blue sharpie pen to fill in my budget sheet so yeah let's get started okay, so the first envelope that we have is our allotment envelope and we should have 75 pounds in this envelope so let's do a quick check so we've got 20, 40, 60, 70 and 5. And that goes back in here. This is a bit of a story time video as well, guys. So much has happened this week. And yeah, I definitely need to share it with you. It's crazy what has gone on so far this week. So the next envelope we have is car tax. And car tax is not being stuffed either. But we should have 65 in here. Okay, so 20, 40, 60 and 5. So that goes back in here. Okay, so the next one we have is our car maintenance envelope. And car maintenance, we are adding in 10. I'll take out what is inside of it. And you'll be surprised to see that we only have £40 in this envelope. If you remember last week, I did say to you that I thought I would need a new tyre. I took the advice that a lot of you gave me, which was to just go and get it fixed. I knew I was kind of like procrastinating about it anyway. So I took your advice and I went to the garage. Turns out they said to me that I needed new brake pads, which to be honest, I knew that would probably happen. I knew something else would be um, said to me that was wrong with the car. He said they were quite urgent and I had previously, I think maybe two or three days before that, heard some noise from the brakes anyway. So I kind of just took his word for it and we went for it. He quoted me £240 for that work and then I got my car washed afterwards, so straight afterwards. So I've added in 10. I'm just going to put that down. So the 15th, add 10. So we should have 50 pounds in here now. So 20, 40, 50 goes back in here. 
Okay, so when the car had been fixed, so the brake pads, the new brake pads had been fitted, one of the workers said to me that he would need to take the car for a test drive. And he literally was pulling out of the garage as he told me this information. And he was gone for so long. I think he must have been gone for probably about 30 minutes or so. And really and truly, where the garage is, I would have thought a test drive would have been up the dual carriageway and back again. That would have taken no longer than maybe like five or 10 minutes. And he was gone, as I said, over half an hour. It was such a long time to the point that I actually called out the garage owner's name. And when I called his name out, he was not there either. So I thought, well, where are they gone? What's going on with these guys? And it turns out he'd obviously left the building as well. I didn't even know that, but he left the building at some point as well. And then within minutes, they came back. Both of them came back. The driver who was in my car, followed by the owner of the garage. And then he went and parked up and he said something about one of the wheel nuts being loose. He'd already said to me that I needed new wheel nuts, that the um, the gnarling had, had actually worn down and that I'd need some. But, he that you know, it wasn't a problem now. So when he came back and said to me that that was the problem with the car, I just took his word for it. He said he'd already gone and got the part and that he was going to fit them now before I could go because literally the wheel was coming off, which is why he had to go and rescue the driver. So I was like, okay, that's fine. He went and fixed the work, um, said the car was ready, and I literally got into the car and drove next door to the car wash, left the building. I had to go home and pick up the dog. Then I went and um, collected my daughter from training. We had a little surprise for her, which I'll go into in a minute. And then, um, yeah, we were out for dinner and I noticed that there was some damage to the car. There was a crack at the bottom of the bumper. Like There was a dent and I said to myself, no, this guy has crashed my car. I, I literally was in shock, to be honest. But the next day, when I saw it in pure daylight, I realised how bad the damage was. And I said, no, I need to get this sorted out. And being a single female, it kind of puts you in a really bad position, I think, a lot of the time with these garages. I think they just see a woman coming along and they sometimes take advantage, which, as you can see in this case, they definitely had because um, it turns out, I'm just going to cut the long story short, but it turns out that obviously they both knew what had happened. He had tried to use cable ties to keep the wing mirror of the car together so he'd actually when he when he came back and he said he was doing the work that he said he was doing he was actually mending or trying to mend the damage that he'd caused by the car and it was a botch job because it was still hanging off you know so guys such a bad experience and I'm just, this is the reason why I suppose I even brought, probably brought up the tyre conversation the other day because I hate going to garages so much and I don't have anyone that I can really trust. I feel like this is probably one of the jobs that um, when I was married, my husband would have probably taken over or would have begged him to take over to try and help out. And because he specialises in mechanics, he would have known whether someone was pulling a fast one or not and he would have known probably what checks to do and things like that i mean if you're going to get your brakes done you're not going to really check body work before after you finish you know after you leave the garage but i suppose now i have to be a lot more aware of what is really going on so i'm sorry to have to you know break the video to kind of deliver that news but that's been my week guys that's what's happened this week with me in terms of car maintenance so I've literally depleted my funds. We're now down to, well, we were down to 40. We're now down to 50 pounds. And I've, you know, I've given my money in good faith to a garage that has literally, you know, ruined my car. Um, at the moment, I'm waiting to hear back from my insurance on Monday, but it looks like I'm going to have to get him to fix the damage, which he's offering to do at the moment. But even when I went to see him today, he was I'm in an hour and about certain things and how certain things should be fixed and all this stuff. You know, I don't specialise in law and my rights and these things. I'm doing a lot of research into it. But if anyone can shed any light on if this has happened to them before, what they had to do, how to go about it, then it'd be really, really helpful for me to know. Because at the moment, I'm kind of like looking at internet sites and they're saying to do this, saying to do that. And it looks like I don't really have a lot of choice other than to trust him again to fix my car in whatever manner he feels he needs to fix it. So, yeah, help me out, guys, if you can. It would be really, really helpful. OK, so car insurance is next. Car insurance we are adding in £15. So 10 
from there and a five. So we've got add 15. So we should have in here 640. Okay. Okay, so we should have 640 here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 30, ooh, 30, 40. I like to put them in order. So that's done. Yeah, it's just so disheartening as well. I mean, you see that I I don't really there's a lot of other YouTubers that put a lot more money into their sinking fund envelopes than me. I literally put in, you know, five pounds here and there each week. And you've seen how long it's taken me to like build up these funds and then to have like my money literally just taken in good faith to do a job and then come away out of pocket because someone has damaged my property it's just so upsetting that I can't even explain how upset I've been about it but I'm trying to get over it because I know that you know it's all material things and they don't you know you can't take them with you and things like that so I'm trying to get over it but it has really upset me a lot so next we have is gifts and there has been some good news this week my daughter she passed all of her a-levels with flying colors she hasn't let me share the grades yet, but let's just say that she got into her first choice of uni. And if you've heard any of the news lately in the UK, you'll know that 40% of the students in the UK have been marked down um, by at least one grade or so. So there's been an outcry from a lot of schools as to how badly they've been treated. But I can say with full confidence that my daughter hasn't been caught up in that and she's done really, really well. And we took her out. And when I say we, I mean myself and my younger daughter, we all went out for a meal to celebrate and I took the money for that meal out of this envelope. So I used £53 in total from the £75 that we had in here. So we have now got £22 in here and I'm just going to show you. So we've got two tens and then the £2. So yeah, it wasn't all doom and gloom, guys. We have spent a lot of money this week. But some of it has been for a really, really good reason. So I'm happy about that. Next, we have Harley. Harley is our dog and she is getting five. So let me just put five in here for her. So Harley's getting five and we are adding five. So in total, we should have £80 in here. I say it every week. I still haven't booked her groom in. And yeah, I'm, I need to get that done. I think it's because we're going away. I haven't really had a chance to really think about dates and stuff yet. But I've got so much to do now. And I think I've only got probably, what, a week and a half before I go back to work. So I'm really, really getting stressed about it. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 75, 80. So £80 is in there. Yeah, I've got so much to do. And this is what happens, I think, towards the end of the summer break, loads of things just start to become due and yeah we're not ready yet so <laughs> pray for me i hope that i get everything done next we have jada and jada is getting five as well so take five from the pile and so 15 add five so she should have 113 here yeah, so Jada has done really, really well this week. I mean, I'm so proud of her. Um, so many obstacles. As you know, she is a full-time athlete as well. So she's had to, you know, balance training with her studies and stuff like that. And, you know, just so amazing how she's done. I'm so proud of her. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 25, 30. So she's done really, really well and deserved it all, I have to say, guys really really good okay next we have is Nevea, and Nevea is also getting five so we put that over here so we're going to add five to Nevea. so we should have 119 here 
So let's do a count. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 85, 90. That goes back in here. Okay, next we have my personal sinking fund. Some money has been taken out of here as well. So we have got £15 in here. We had £35 last week. I took out £20 from here because I decided to treat my daughter to some flowers just to give her a little present um, for doing so well in her exam. pounds out of that envelope a couple of days ago but i'm adding back in five today so we've got 15th add five so we have got 20 pounds in here and that is just gonna put that in order so 20 pounds is going back in here And then we have my son next. So Tyrese is getting five. So I'm going to add five from here. So he should have 90 pounds in here. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 85, 90. So that goes back in here and then the last one we have is water so water is getting five so we add that to this and then we've got the date which should be 105 for our water bill so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. Okay, so, so far we still haven't added any money into our canoeing envelope. I will be putting some money into this envelope next week from the grant money that I received for her, just so that I can keep a close eye on budgeting. But yeah, that is all of our envelopes stuffed, guys. They are all done and ready for another week. Okay, guys, so I know this was a bit of a moan, probably, or a rant. This video has definitely had some highs and some lows. So yeah, I'm so, so proud of Jada. She's done really, really well. So I'm really glad to report the good news about her A-levels. And we had a really lovely meal and it was just really nice to spend some quality time with the girls, to be honest. Um, Tyrese wasn't able to come because he had to work early this week. So it wasn't good in the terms of not having him there, but we still managed to have a really good time. And yeah, I'm just trying to sort this whole car situation out. I will definitely keep you updated. But yeah, as I said, guys, if you have got any advice or you can offer any advice legally in terms of where I stand and what I can do, that would be really, really much appreciated. Other than that, though, guys, I hope this video was useful. Please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you found it to be. Please do not forget to click on that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Have a good day.